Hey everybody, it has been quite a while since I posted any video on my outdoors channel here. So I just wanted to say hello. We are finally back out on Pretty Boy Reservoir. It's early September. Uh, I'm honestly not even sure what the date is. It's the first week in September. So beautiful day, nice breeze blowing. Everything's still nice and green. We got a little ways to go before the leaves start changing. So I honestly do not have any real plans for today. I brought my fishing rods, so I might do a little fishing while we're out here. Uh, we'll probably just do a little paddling around, some sightseeing and that sort of thing, just out here to enjoy the day. Don't have any real solid goals for being out here. So let me get on with it and I'm gonna get on down around the bend and we will see uh, what we see, but I just wanted to say hello and shoot the intro to the video and anything else we see here uh, in the near future hopefully will be interesting enough that we'll put it on the head cam and you'll get to see uh, my point of view looking at it as we go past. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the afternoon out here with me on Pretty Boy Reservoir. All right, everybody, we are not too far from the boat launch. We're in a little cove that has an island out in the middle of it. And that little patch of land you can see right out there is the island. And so this is a fairly large cove we're in. And I'm probably going to spend the rest of the afternoon back here. Uh, we're going to head down into this corner and get into some shade. And I'm probably going to work my way along that shoreline and fish for a little while. So maybe if we catch any fish, we'll get that on video. But I think that's going to be pretty much what my plans for the rest of the afternoon are, is stay right back here within this cove. And by the time we get around to the other side of it, we'll be about a mile from the boat launch, so we won't have too far to go to get back home this afternoon. Absolutely beautiful day out here. A little on the breezy side out in the main channel. But once you get back here into these coves, you get tucked up against the trees and out of the wind, it's a lot nicer. You gotta remember, I still got one of my rods sticking up behind me. I have a tendency to wanna hug the shoreline and drift up underneath of the trees. But you can't always do that when you got fishing rods sticking up behind you. So these are the kind of weed beds I want to be fishing over top of. You can see all these little gaps and pockets. It's very likely fish can be hiding in those. And so if you bring a lure across the surface, you can bring them up from down in the depths. So I don't know how much glare you're getting on the water, but you can see all out here is all weed beds and it's all fairly shallow. So pretty much anywhere back here is where I can fish. In fact, not too long ago, I caught a perch back here and I was having the same conversation. I was talking about how all this is weed beds and pretty much anywhere out here will catch me a fish. And right while I was saying that, I hooked into that perch right after that. Um, so if I remember, I will attach a card to that video if you want to see me catching that little perch. And you can see these weed beds are pretty much ubiquitous back here. So let's go ahead and just get over this way. This is a little too shallow for me. Although I'm not sure how deep the actual water is. These weed beds might be three or four feet deep but I do not see any break in them at all. It is just a blanket of weeds, and so we're not gonna be likely to catch any fish back in this. All right, let me get over here and get settled in. I'm gonna take a little break, get some fishing done, so, I was able to give you all a nice little look around. You got an idea of what the surrounding area is like. 
and so again for the rest of the afternoon I'm just gonna sort of be back this area paddling around so if I do catch any fish I will certainly get that on video we'll go ahead and just let the camera roll while I'm fishing for whatever battery life I've got left I don't think it's too much but we'll see what happens so just in case I do not uh, catch any fish and I do run out of battery I'm gonna say goodbye now but hopefully we will see a little more video later if nothing else if I got enough battery life left we'll get a little bit of the paddle back otherwise I'm gonna say thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you real soon in the next one